Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to do this video as a little insight into my fitness journey. Um, everyone's fitness journeys are going to be different and they they all have their ups and downs, but like I said, everyone, everyone's journey is different. Everyone's journey is their own. Uh, like, so going all the way back to when I was a kid, I was always really, really active. I was one of these kids that couldn't sit still. I loved to run around. I'd always be outside. Uh, whenever it was possible, either on my bike, just kicking a ball against the wall, any sort of activity I could get my hands on really, I loved doing as a kid. Um, yeah, really couldn't sit still. Pretty hyperactive. Uh, <laughs> and I was a very skinny um, teenager as well. So growing up like 18, I was about 10 stone. Um, I'll put the conversion in kilograms. Can't think of it off the top of my head. Something probably about 60, maybe 60 kilos, maybe a little bit lighter than that. As a kid, here's a picture as well. Really, really skinny, scrawny, not a lot of uh, muscle mass at all in the upper body. Uh, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed sports at school as well. Uh, I loved any sort of PE lesson, games lesson. Didn't really matter what sport we were playing as long as I could be active. That's what I really, really enjoyed. And then during secondary school, I started playing rugby outside of school as well. Uh, joined a local rugby club thanks to my best friend and his dad, who was our coach. And they asked if I wanted to start playing because I did quite well at some events at Sports Day and they were looking for some quick players. So I started playing rugby and I fell in love with the game and, started, and continued playing rugby up until the point of going off to university. And this is where my fitness journey took a bit of a, um, a negative turn because even though I went to uni and I studied sports science, I wasn't particularly active at university. Um, as I wasn't part of a team, I wasn't motivated to, to exercise or, or move around as much as I always had done. Um, it wasn't the same as being at home where I might jump on my bike and cycle down to a shop or something like that. Most of the shops were only a one minute walk away from where, where our university house was. So I just walked there and back. Um, I used to, in second and third year, ended up playing five aside once a week and maybe doing a 10 minute walk to university and a 10 minute walk back. And that was probably the most amount of activity that I did. And this had a really negative effect, uh, not just on, on like my fitness, but it had a negative effect on on my mental health and mental well-being, which I didn't realise till later in life. Uh, so, finished university, not being very active. As soon as I got back home, though, I uh, started playing rugby again, which I was really happy to do. Joined back or rejoined my local club, um, which is Dover Sharks. We started playing playing rugby again, really enjoying it. Um, had to work hard to build my fitness up because obviously I'd gone to university and become quite unfit and a little bit chubby. Um, I'll post a picture of that as well. Uh, so not, not doing so well post-university. Um, but then started doing that. And then a, a little bit after university as well, I did my personal training qualification. So graduated from university, got my degree, then went and did my personal training qualification. And that's when I really first kind of understood the gym and got a better, or at least got a better understanding of the gym and the training that you could do in there and what the positive effects that could have not only on your physical well-being but your mental well-being as well and I started just to piece a few bits together but it still took a couple of years after that before I really really got into my training so after I qualified as my PT came back and started playing rugby again but adding a few bits of what my extra knowledge into it and and finding that I was getting better <laughs> better results on the pitch through my training which is not a surprise when you look back at it but at the time it was like oh this is this is really useful uh so yeah I, I started doing a lot more gym work uh working on myself and i really fell in love with all the gym work so i stopped playing rugby oh trying to work it out the other day um in my mid-20s that's all i can say for sure i'll double check the year that it was but uh, yeah, in my mid twenties, because I found I was getting a few injuries and, and that was having a negative effect because I wasn't able to train and then I wasn't enjoying the rugby as much because then I'd have weeks off and it, again, it kind of spiraled a bit. So I, I decided I'd, to give up playing rugby, uh, which was a tough decision because it's something I really enjoyed doing and I loved the, the team aspect of it and being with all my friends and, and everything like that as well. And it was, it was a fun way to spend a couple of hours every weekend but it was having a negative impact on my body, but also a little bit on my, my mental health as well, because every time I got injured, I couldn't train in the gym either, or it was limited to what I could do in the gym, and then I wasn't enjoying that whole process. So 
I stopped playing. Um, and yeah, I focused onto my onto my training. And that's kind of where we lead to, to, to today, really. And that's continued from then. Um, I love training for me. Like everyone always asks, or not everyone, but you get asked a lot, what are you training for? Why do you do so like this? Why do you do that? And it's like, well, no, I'm training for myself and for life. I want to be strong and healthy and well for as long as possible. So all my training is centered on on being the best version of myself that I can. It's always a process as well. So this is my journey so far. This is where I've got to at the moment. But there's always somewhere to to progress to. Uh, and like I want to keep going. And like I said, it's, it's about the long game, longevity. Um, looking after my body, making sure it stays as strong as possible uh, for as long as possible as well. So yeah, this was just a video, in, a little bit more of an insight into me um, and my fitness journey. I'd love to hear about all your fitness journeys as well. If you want to drop me a comment below, please feel free to tell me how you're getting on with your fitness journey. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are, are keeping well. Take care and I'll see you all very, very soon.